start off with a difficult question. How do you define reality? What is truly real? Is it simply a case of what we can see? If something is known as fact and can be proven to exist, does this make it real? Is reality just the world around us, or is there something more? The goal of these questions isn't to make you question every part of the world around you, or to question whether or not we are all living in a computer simulation. No, you're asked this to help you understand reality. Because first of all, we aren't living in a simulation. We're living in a sitcom. There is a wide-ranging debate on what the most powerful and dangerous SCPs ever encountered are. But there is no denying the ever-present danger of SCP-3812. This Keter-class entity is regarded as highly aggressive by the O5 Council, especially as it has only ever been partially contained, never fully. The true scope of its abilities is currently unknown, and any available information on SCP-3812 is kept classified and secure by the Foundation. Needless to say, this entity poses a direct threat not only to the SCP Foundation, but to the very fabric of reality itself. Contained within the file for SCP-3812 is an excerpt from an article by one Dr. Robert Scranton, titled, Supersession and the Echelon of Reality. In this article, Dr. Scranton posits a theory about the nature of reality, and understanding him is the first step towards understanding SCP-3812. His recursive stack theory states that there are different layers to reality, but also that no single universe is real. An easy way to think of it is to imagine a sitcom. Any sitcom you can envision will do. Between us and the fictional world of a sitcom, there are multiple observable stacked universes. Firstly, our universe. The real world as we experience it forms the baseline, so imagine this sitting at the top of the stack. Next down in the stack comes the sitcom, a fictional universe filled with characters, which fits below our universe. Then, think of what is fiction within the fiction of the sitcom. Perhaps another television show. One that only exists in the world of the sitcom, but not in our own. This is the recursive stack, infinitely layered universes, and it is crucial you can envision and rem in a relentless world. Granton's theory suggests that any universe, even our own, could potentially exist as a fictional narrative within another, wider universe. This wider universe, in which ours is a fiction, could also itself be a narrative within an even wider universe stacked above it, and so on. It's interesting to picture reality this way, isn't it? In fact, I'm willing to bet that you're wondering, maybe there's a universe above ours, or even one above that. Would the universe right at the top of the stack be the truly real world? And what if you could travel between each stacked reality? If you're asking any of those questions, then congratulations. You sound exactly like SCP-3812. SCP-3812 was previously known as Sam Howell. While little is known about his life, Sam was, as far as anyone knew, regarded as a fairly ordinary human being until his death in 1996, shortly after which Sam rose from his grave and disappeared. It is unknown whether SCP-3812 simply imitated the form of Sam Howell or if they are one and the same, as this entity has been known to have the ability to change forms at will, making it hard for the Foundation to track it. It does usually maintain a humanoid appearance, however this has deteriorated somewhat over numerous decades. By now, you may have already gathered that the extent of SCP-3812's abilities don't end at shapeshifting. This SCP is a powerful, aggressive, reality-altering entity. Cast your mind back to the recursive stack. SCP-3812 is able to travel upwards through these stacked universes, creating untold chaos using its plethora of world-bending abilities. As far as the SCP Foundation can tell, 3812's sole intention is to become an omnipotent force existing above any and all possible universes. In other words, the top of the stack. Aside from the ability to change shape, SCP-3812's control and alteration of reality around it is achieved by its long list of latent abilities. 
This entity is capable of feats far beyond that of normal humans, such as teleportation, telekinesis, and telepathy. However, SCP-3812 is also able to directly manipulate any and all aspects of reality. It can influence and alter observable forces around us. For example, the manipulation of matter, energy, weather, and even gravity and other laws of physics as we know them. But the creature can also warp reality on further levels. It's able to erase people, objects, or even concepts to the point where human beings lose virtually all memory of them. With the danger that an entity this powerful poses to our reality, it's not surprising that the SCP Foundation would attempt to nullify its abilities. One attempt by the Foundation involved another unknown SCP, which created an anti-metaphysical field. This was done in the hopes that it would strip SCP-3812 of its reality-warping abilities. However, the entity was unfazed. The containment attempt failed, and the remains of the unknown SCP instead resulted in the creation of SCP-239. As for the SCP-3812 entity's own origin, that is still largely unknown. But there does exist a message on a secure server in the SCP Foundation's O5 command, seemingly from another entity belonging to a reality stacked higher above our own that appears to have created a reality much further down, one that SCP-3812 inhabited. And now it seems that SCP-3812 is climbing up the stack. There is a trade-off of sorts to the abundance of powers SCP-3812 possesses. The entity is in an almost constant state of ascension through different stacked universes, climbing higher and higher, believing every reality beneath it to be a fiction. The creature has developed multiple severe mental conditions that seem to be a direct result of overexposure to different layers of reality. This includes an advanced form of Enigman Vieter Schizophrenia Complex, which often manifests in extreme symptoms within the creature. SCP-3812 has been known to suffer from paranoia, dysphoria, depression, and inability to control its emotions as well as hearing voices, seeing things that do not exist, and possessing multiple personalities. While the creature is usually aimless, SCP-3812 has been known to have random outbursts that can cause anomalies within local space and time. But thanks to it experiencing so many different layers of reality, traveling upwards through what it perceives to be fictional universes, SCP-3812 displays difficulty in separating what is real and what is imagined. In fact, reality and fiction have become one in the same to SCP-3812, because as far as it is concerned, they literally are the same. Each new reality it inhabits is just fiction for the reality stacked above it. So then how are we supposed to contain or neutralize such a powerful reality-altering creature that cannot distinguish between what is real and what is fictional? The Foundation knows that its own procedures to keep SCP-3812 contained would be ineffective. This entity by its nature cannot be contained. Any attempt to keep it locked away would easily be undone by any one of its numerous powers to warp reality. Locking it in a cement box at the bottom of the ocean would be pointless. It could teleport out, or turn its cell into nothing but dust. Putting it in a vat of acid to endlessly burn it would just result in it turning that acid to harmless water or air. SCP-3812 can manipulate events throughout time, and so it could easily prevent itself from ever being contained. It is even possible that any individuals, even Foundation staff, who may have previously tried to lock the creature up, now no longer exists thanks to SCP-3812's abilities. And there would be no way to determine this, since we wouldn't be able to remember that the person had ever been in our reality. The Foundation's best hope is to keep SCP-3812 where it is, and hope it remains docile. If they are able to keep it away from large population centers, then the risk of 3812 having any sort of psychic influence over citizens or warping reality and causing the deaths of millions or even billions is at least reduced. But of course, it is never fully gone. On at least one occasion, SCP-3812 has caused a truly catastrophic event. For some reason, SCP-3812 decided to turn itself into a star, spinning endlessly. And it did so. Numerous anomalous occurrences took place across the world. Most notably, SCP-3812 caused the Foundation's nuclear warheads to detonate, 
spreading harmful radioactive material into the atmosphere. Additionally, the population of New Zealand began to sporadically disappear and reappear, looping back and forth between existence and non-existence for a period of around five hours. It was during this world-ending scenario that SCP-3812, still at the center of its star form, was recorded ranting, its split personalities arguing. One of the creature's personalities claimed it was unmaking the world as an act of revenge against someone. It stated that it believed, Existence is a joke. The narrative abandoned us to be miserable, and we are breaking the narrative. Its other half mentioned another entity known only as Ben, and seemed to imply that this entity was responsible for SCP-3812's creation in a reality stacked above this one. According to the more rational of 3812's two halves, this Ben entity deemed us unfit to rest peacefully, to slip into the darkness quietly. He made a game of us. It then went on to convince this other half that destroying this reality just to slight Ben would be pointless. There would always be another stacked on top infinitely. So why does this narrative mean anything to you? It asked. It is one of an eternity to others. It is not special. It is not particular. The two sides of SCP-3812 argued with each other, one wanting to destroy all of reality to spite Ben, driven mad by witnessing trillions upon trillions of universes stacked atop each other. The other half of 3812 saw peace for itself, ascending above these infinitely stacked universes, finally reaching the top and becoming free. Not a god, a star rising in the east, rising away from this all until we are little more than a memory of a song. It will be lonely, the other half of the creature replied. We'll have each other. SCP-3812's other personality said, I'm afraid, said the one intent on destruction. I am too, the other reassured it. But that is no reason to destroy this narrative. Eventually, SCP-3812's personalities reached agreement. They both left the narrative they were currently in, presumably traveling upwards to one stacked above our own, while simultaneously remaining in this universe. Still a danger. Let go of this world. Let him rewrite it back to what it was. We aren't part of this anymore. Shortly after this event, reality shifted once more, and the entire world reverted back to how it had been before. Records of the end of the world scenario that had occurred were retained by high-level administrators and the O5 Council, perhaps as a reminder of the destructive capabilities of the creature, a warning of its potential to change this reality and any stacked below or above it. Fortunately, since this incident, SCP-3812 has remained in its docile, aimless state, no longer actively hostile to anyone that approaches it. It has kept its amorphous, star-like shape, and is still very much able to create disruptions and anomalies in reality. Despite keeping SCP-3812 constantly monitored at its current location in the South Pacific Ocean, the SCP Foundation knows that, at any time, this entity could trigger yet another global catastrophe, causing massive damage to planet Earth, its population, and beyond that, tearing our reality itself asunder. So we all just better hope our narrative remains worthwhile to SCP-3812's better half.